All right, so I'm going to show you a, a pretty cool uh, application you can use in your classroom. Um, it's called Classroom Screen. And what it is, it's a hub or a specific window where all of your, where you can house all of your, uh, everything that you're going to be working on in the class. Um, there's specific widgets you can add to your uh, presentation your board or your lesson so one thing that you can definitely do is you can add your learning objectives into this widget so now instead of putting it on the wall um, you can have your learning objective right here inside of this uh, window you can also add a timer where you can have multiple timers you can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. Uh, you can let's change the background. You can also change the background. You can add a background. You can have. Um, you can upload a background. We'll just add this background for now. You can create a poll, so you can create your poll and have it available. It's just instant availability to all of your uh, lessons, anything that you're working on in the classroom. Um, you can add an image, so you can go ahead and upload an image directly to uh, your window. And here is where you can spotlight. If you need to spotlight this specific image, you can. Let's go ahead and upload a video. So if I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to more, and what I can do is. I can either embed a video or I can upload a video through YouTube through the link. I would prefer embedding it. So if I go here and then if I go ahead and let's say I wanted to embed this specific video, I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it in the box and then we're going to run the code. And then now the video, you don't need to have multiple tabs open. You can specifically spotlight the video right inside of classroom screen. It'll play right here, or it can play right here as well. All right. You have the clock. If students need to know where the clock, you need to utilize the clock. You can... Uh, Let's see, what else do we have? Add hyperlinks. You can add a QR code, which is awesome as well for if you need students to go to a specific website. And then what I like as well is you can draw. So you can actually have a whiteboard. So if I'm going to spotlight this, so this is this will be the whiteboard where students can come and actually draw on the board. Uh, so you're, it's your whiteboard. It's it's everything in in one specific window, okay. And you can do as many widgets as possible as possible. Um, yes, and you can have multiple pages. So you can add another page and have another window of widgets, and you can have one per classroom as well. So um, play around with it, uh, log in with your school credentials. Great organization for, uh, for your classroom. Like once again, you can put your learning objectives. So uh, if an administrator walks in, they can see what your, they can see your objectives right there. Post it and they can see everything that you are doing inside of the classroom. Let me add a timetable so I can add a specific timetable uh, schedule or add a specific timetable for an activity. I can name the activity and, and then you can put the time of how long you want. So we're going to be working on this for five minutes. Um, and we'll go ahead and name the activity uh, let's do bell ringer. So from eight to eight 
to 805, this will be the specific activity. You can change the sound. Uh, you can add the color theme and let's you can put an image and we'll go ahead and when we're ready to start the activity, we'll go ahead and spotlight. And then at that specific time, from 8 to 8.05, that uh, they'll be going with that. That's what they'll be doing. So you can actually have you what students are going to be going through uh, today. So I can add another activity. I can add another activity. And so now students can know, hey, miss, what are we working on today? You can actually schedule have your schedule listed inside of classroom screen. All right, so it's a wonderful application. Um, please let me know if you have any questions.